SMB is the protocol we'll use to connect to the shared folders created on our Synology NAS. And in this video, we'll walk through two methods to connect to SMB shares from a Mac OS system, walk through three methods to connect to SMB shares using a Windows 10 system, and we'll test how user permissions we set up in the earlier videos work when accessing the shared folders through SMB. If you are following along in the Synology NAS installation and local area network setup series, connecting to SMB shares with macOS and Windows 10 is the seventh and final step in the seven video series. The first method we'll use to connect to an SMB share for macOS is by going to Finder, then Go, then Connect to Server. For server address, I'll enter in the SMB address of the Synology NAS and click Connect. I'll log in as Manager 1 and select Employee Policies as the shared folder I'd like to access and click OK. Manager 1 has read-write access to the Employee Policy shared folder and we can test this by renaming the test-manager1 folder and copying a file into the folder as well, which is working as expected. The second method we'll use to connect to an SMB share using macOS is through the sidebar from a Finder window. If you don't see the sidebar, you can click View from the Finder menu and select Show Sidebar. I'll navigate to the Location section and click on the DS920 Synology NAS to access it. From this window, I'll click on the Connect As button, log in as Employee 1, and connect to the Shared folder by double-clicking on it. Employee 1 has read-write access to the shared folder, and we can test this by deleting the test-employee1 folder and then recreating it. The first method we'll use to connect Windows 10 to an SMB share is by using the search box accessible from the taskbar. I'll type in the Universal Naming Convention, or UNC path, into the search box and click Run Command. The Windows Security window will appear prompting for username and password. I'll log in as Employee 1, click OK, and now the list of available shared folders is displayed. Let's see what happens when we try to access the confidential shared folder which Employee 1 should not have access to and, sure enough, access is denied. Windows brings up the login prompt for another account that we could use to access the confidential shared folder, but I'll click Cancel for now and connect to the personal home folder for employee one, where we do have read and write permissions, as I'm able to rename the test-employee one folder and copy a file into the shared folder as well. The second method to connect to an SMB share on Windows 10 is by using the address bar from Windows Explorer. I'll bring up a file explorer window and in the address bar enter the UNC path for the Synology NAS and hit enter. I'm prompted for login information and this time I'll log in as manager one and click OK. Let's access the confidential shared folder to test the read write permissions that manager one should have. I'll add a file to the folder and delete the file as well to confirm that permissions are fine. The final method to connect to an SMB share on Windows 10 is by using the network option from the sidebar to browse and connect to network shares. I'll double click network and I get this warning letting me know that network discovery is turned off. I'll click OK and to turn on network discovery, I'll go to start and then settings. From Windows settings, I'll select network and internet. I'll select the method I'm connected to the network with, which in my case is ethernet, and click on change advanced sharing options where I'll turn on network discovery for the current profile that I'm using and then save the changes. I'll close Windows settings and now double-clicking network brings up the network devices on the LAN. I'll double-click on the DS920 Synology NAS, which now brings up the login prompt. I'll log in as employee one and now the list of available shared folders is displayed. I'll test the access employee one has for the employee policy shared folder, which should be read only by trying to rename the Manager 1 folder, which fails and displays an error message indicating permissions are working as expected. We've made it to the end of the Synology NAS installation and local area network setup series. We went from a brand new Synology NAS to a system with network shares accessible by users on both Mac OS and Windows 10. 
If you followed along in the series and made it to the end, congratulations. I hope you enjoyed the entire video series and look for the links to all the videos from the series in the description below. Also, if you have other topics you'd like me to create videos on, please leave a comment below as well. Thanks for watching and make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you are enjoying the content I'm producing.